You guys still remember that 4300 US dollar water chipster brand new car? Now they have this convertible version available. Hello everyone, Justin at the Intro Garage here. Here's our baby for today's Trans Car Review. It's a Wuling Hongguang Mini EV convertible. I'm good at making those short videos like a TikTok one, which my videos can always go viral on there. But I'm not good at making those long videos like the vlogs or the YouTube videos. So my boss asked me to learn how Casey films his vlogs. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode. I went through his videos frame by frame and realized I don't have Casey's skateboard. Without that transportation too, I cannot make videos like Casey. But I got one here. This would be a perfect Kissy skateboard. Hello everyone, it's Justin at the Intro Garage again. This is our baby for this week's Chinese car review. The starting price for the regular Mini EV is only about 4300 US dollars and they sold a lot of them, like over 20 of them every single month, sometimes it's even over 50. So now it become the third best selling electric car in the world. Since this car is so popular, a lot of people modified it, including us, like this one. And this one. And even Wulin officials came out with few limited corporation editions, just like this 42 Labos one, which is designed by my friend. We could drive along an ocean reflecting the sun, or make a bed of green atop a wide open scene. Alright, this one has 41 horsepower and 280 kilometers range, just like the regular one, which is a cheap, convenient electric K car affordable to everyone. If you take a look at the interior, it has this leather seating right, and all those door panels, and the dash, and even this little storage behind the door is made of leather. This one is much more luxury than the regular version, but they are still in the same style. It has two airbags, one on the steering wheel and one right there. A little screen in front of the steering wheel, two cup holders, one here and one for the passenger side. The AC steering system. This is an even much more luxury feature. It's an electric roof. You can push this little button here. And the roof will come out from the back. So you just hold this handle turn it around and it's locked in the place and now it's time to hit the road it really reminds me of my old Mazda Miata I can enjoy all those sunny from this convertible top I pretty much love this little cute car let's go for it <laughs> I can hear all those sound from the electric motor, but there's nothing push me at all. It's definitely not a powerful car, but it can still go all the way over 100 or even 120 kilometers per hour. It's more like the old smart, a little city car for your daily commute, driving into all those narrow roads where other regular size cars can, and parking into all those small parking spots where everyone else can. It's just like the king of downtown. By the way, I haven't got any details on that convertible top like the speed limit for opening the roof, the opening time, so let's try it. Now I'm sitting in the car with my phone to count how much time would it need to open and close the roof. Let's go ahead by close it. It's just 10 seconds guys, and this time I'm going to count the opening time. Let's go. Whoa, it's even faster, just seven seconds. That's actually pretty good for a convertible car electric top. Since it's a convertible car, the soft top will take a lot of space in the trunk and it's a key car, it's small in size. So this Wuling Hong Kong Mini EV convertible doesn't have a trunk anymore, but it does have some storage behind this seat. I will show you guys. You open this zip here and the storage is behind it. 
All right, guys. So I haven't got the price for this car yet, but I guess it will be somewhere between 12 to 15 thousand US dollars. And I'm not quite sure whether or not this one will be the cheapest convertible car on earth. But it's definitely a good car for the price. Considering when you're converting a hardtop regular car into a convertible car, you will have to do a lot of more designs and add a lot of extra structures to make sure the safety. So how do you guys think about this car? This is the end of the review of this little cute convertible car. So make sure to subscribe my channel to follow up with my crazy project car builds and those Chinese car reviews. I will see you guys in the next episode.